today our agenda is stlc life cycle right stlc uh, how you know stlc will be there and what it means and uh, where do we use that stlc right one minute i'm just trying to organize it well so that okay so let's discuss about sdlc right sdlc uh, life cycle there is software development life cycle <clears throat> what it means right like yeah, i gave yesterday i think i already covered in the yesterday class that what it, what is sdlc uh, nutshell that's you no know, it's a life cycle of software development any product in this industry will have a, a certain process and also life cycle life cycle means where it has to be start and where it has to be end and where we need to put into the production right this is called sdlc generally i will open paint like i said yesterday i compared this with your um, house construction isn't it where do you plan how do you you know go for a civil engineer for a, uh, the design and uh, finally you start you buy the uh, you know, uh, raw material and they start uh, constructing it and finally you do some you know painting and testing on top of that and and you start using it right likely whenever we uh, uh, for example you take a customer a business person um is doing right i'm just giving business right is doing a business and you don't have any software yet now what is this business is something like selling books okay selling books selling normal books right so that is his business uh, now now he want to make it this online selling right that means he has lot many varieties of books is very very popular in that his business got very popular and he want to expand his business entire you know to, towards entire country or entire world right now <clears throat> what this selling books guy will do is he will approach a software company right and software company and say that hey i am selling a books in my I have, a, I have a vast variety of books and i'm selling it and i'm also having a customized uh, books like someone is writing it in you know and uh, it is very popular but uh, those are limited to my 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 particular state or particular city but it, i want to expand this to entire my country right so you will go to software company and what he will explain all these activities what what is next uh, you know business activity that he want to do now he is just selling in that particular state and he want to expand this to entire country i'm just bear with my language here country now what the software company will do is okay any questions yeah uh, software company will do is okay a ba business analyst will go to the a particular book selling uh, shop or wherever is it it's a maybe a company right guy his business and he will analyze that business how this business model is currently working right how it is working and he will uh, and his requirement also right he will his requirement that means what this business guy is thinking and what what he want to expand this entire country he just have an idea but sometimes he don't know what is what is has to be done sometimes right so business guy and uh, business guy and ba or po product owner will have a detailed discussion and finally this business analyst will come up with the 
requirements of business okay you want to sell this online that means you want to create an e-commerce application for the business you know book selling shop right to expand his business to entire world that means after this discussion right the output is requirements gathering right that is a first uh, phase of SDLC where requirement gathering will come that's what I was uh, trying to say that is first phase is requirement gathering once BO has a requirement gathering right then that will be explained to a team right that means there will be a planning or requirement analysis comp planning right requirement analysis uh, analysis comp planning I'm sorry let me go for this right so first it is a requirement gathering from from home can someone answer for whom we'll gather the requirement can someone answer this from whom we will gather the requirements PA. sorry pa will gather the requirements from business right A business person business company i would say right in this case business company is what book selling book selling company right so what is what uh, what book selling company want to do uh, let me put in the first that I, the target was book selling was uh, limited to a, a particular place now want to expand to expand to what sell them for an entire someone go to mute please uh, that was a target right that is what a uh, next level up was in the business that he want to do to do this he need to invest right so you want to invest on software now because software can be online and can create can create a e-commerce application right make sense any questions on this business model now so next what happened is okay he approached business selling business person book selling business person approached or a company approached software company to start with a screen not visible uh, is it is it same for all someone need to check on this thank you so uh, requirement gathering from business company and you know so once he decided to sell that on online so he needed an e-commerce application he approached a software company he or she has approached a software company and finally a business analyst will went to the particular book selling company and analyze the business business analyst is nothing but analyzing the business right the word itself has it analyzing is he want to understand details about what is going on current business and what is the requirement for next levels right and how to how do you want to make it online that is e-commerce application like that this kind of requirements will come so it will come on detailed discussion okay this is a business and this could be as challenges and this could be uh, can be accepted like that right this, there will be a detailed discussion happens finally uh, a requirement gathering will come from the business company by business analyst okay and the, the company is book selling company right and then um what is that is next is 
okay once we got a business requirements generally you know think through in your world right don't uh, compare this with uh, normal sdlc okay you got a, any one of the requirement from your father or mother uh, you know hey go to the particular uh, a particular city and get me some groceries it's a city it's not what you're staying now uh, it is maybe another city or another area i would say so what is your next approach you'll first see and research where is that or analyze where is that particular shop can uh, exist right and where is that particular groceries exist and what is the use of those groceries and why we are going to that particular city to get that groceries or not right it, it cannot be achieved in my my see my my city itself or my hometown itself whatever it is right you start analyzing it right what is a ask by your mother or father you start analyzing it right so that means you are analyzing the requirement of your mother and father that that's the same thing that happens when someone asked to make their business online so company in the company stakeholders stakeholders means the team uh, you know the team the team may contains project manager and definitely ba and tech lead and test lead right uh, these people will start analyzing the requirements that is which was gathered in step one right step one we gathered in the requirement and step two the team the team of the particular software company will start analyzing the requirements is it feasible or not first of all they need to check ba may not be uh, you know a right person to judge whether it is feasible or not because that requires some technicalities and technical things right so it's a team which with the uh, with the with the right technical people and business analyst and project management they will analyze the requirement <clears throat> and check the feasibility when you say feasibility can we do this in the software okay uh, that is what the second step generally okay and I'm just uh, comparing with this you know, requirements phase, which is I just said, right? BA will go back, go to the particular company and get the requirement. This is what requirement gathering phase. And then next analysis, right? Analyze that particular requirements can be uh, uh, can be achievable or not. I mean, it shouldn't be like the you no know, giving a blind uh, expectations, a blind uh, okay to client that hey it can be done right they will they will come with analysis and analyze the particular requirement and then finally i mean in this analysis also they will they will see what is feasible and what is not feasible and they will go back to the customer and say that hey it is feasible to make your uh, make your business online or software uh, or uh, you know uh, can be designed for your business so this is what this output of this part right the output is let the business company know that at online is for online onlining the online the business onlining the you know book selling in this case book selling right is 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 fine that means they can achieve it right achievable so that's what in the second phase the outcome will be right now third phase which is a which is a crucial phase right and planning and designing right planning and design which is a very crucial phase for software development right this is where all the stakeholders will be okay so here the first step is you know software company will 
will identify the stakeholders in this case stakeholders is the team the team the team who, who will be working on the on this project right so the team will be identified and then secondly they will start designing it they will plan it how to how to plan this there's a project document project planning document will be there where they plan that hey how 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 to uh, who is the stakeholders and what what is the timelines of the particular project and uh, how to design it right that design is very important in this case what do you mean by design right so there's they just came up with a, a particular uh, concept called say online the business book selling right that means they need to design it book selling is a small piece right and they they got a requirements that may have like uh, hundred of hundreds of requirements right for example if you take hundred requirements they cannot just uh, develop like one requirement is equal to like that right they need to divide see this is a See, when we say design, right, they want to design in such a way that it is maintainable as well as it is easy to use. If I say, hey, I got 100 requirements, I will just develop and give it back to the business. They, they start utilizing it. No, not that way, right? So if that is design, a software is designed means uh, always it should be reusable, maintainable and and also user friendly application user friendly means if a, a layman book who is a book who is the audience for book selling right like me or like uh, sometimes technical people will, people will come to the particular site and sell, uh, and buy it or sometimes non technical people he, they may be business uh, they may be different uh, they may be students as well right they will come to the site and they will buy it so they may or may not have full knowledge of software okay what they will do they will come to the application and they will just want to search it and buy it right so it should be the application whatever we are developing sh should always be user friendly that means users should be like just go to the site and start buying it they should not understand what is the technicalities behind it they should understand what is a business okay it is selling a books to me i will search for one one of the book that i need and I will select it and I will go to the card and I will pay it, right? So that much simple it should be, right? So that's what the design phase will do. Design what they will do, okay. We need to split this 100 requirement into modules wise. There is a module called book search. There is a module, uh, module called add to cart that is starting. And there is should be a module called shipping. I'm just giving examples of book sellings, right? Is it is a, it is a e-commerce and shipping and then payment. So I'm just giving you four or five uh, modules here because you already know you already use many e-commerce e-commerce applications in the day to day life, right? There is searching the items, adding to the cart. That is one module, and and you know shipping is another module, and shipping and billing is another module, and finally it's a payment, right? so likewise the output of the design is so so modules and sub modules will be designed right and here output is uh, Technical document will come back like design document. I would say Will be out so here here the first in the first phase it is a uh, requirement uh, BRS right business requirement document BRD So BRD or you know requirements will be out here so Here as a tester you will understand what is the requirement of the particular company and you will adopt this requirement 
you analyze its requirement from yourself and come up with the questions to BA. And finally, you will understand. You should understand the business, and you should be adopted for these requirements. You know, once it is clear, then here also you involves. You will get a modules and sub modules or technical design document, where you need to be understanding what are the different modules are coming up, and how it may look like. Right? There could be a prototypes here. That means, hey, your screen may look like this, like that. Right? So. You need to understand what is a technical design document here you may not understand fully at the time what when you when you're watching this but you always can go to the architect or a design who will do the design architect will do the design right architect and ask for more questions and he will definitely give a detailed uh, walkthrough of what is design and how it may look and how how the user journey may look like that right he will give a design document here so these two phases are when all these phases are important for you but you will be more involving uh, as a as a person in the first phase that is requirement analysis and in the planning phase okay planning and design phase any questions so far i will give a pause here i'm just de going detail guys because sdlc is what makes you makes you understand and go next level Please ask your questions if you have any so far. Uh, can you explain in a graphical art MON? Uh, I mean graphical. Uh, you mean uh, a diagrammatic way? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. I will. I will show that as well. Uh, I'm first explaining it. Uh, I think I I made it here, but it was not comfortable. I will show you that as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, any any questions so far in this concept? These three areas. Uh, in terms of understanding and in terms of clarifications. Cool. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, for analysis phase, what we have to analyze for the things hmm. special. Uh, you mean this phase? We analysis phase. This one, right? In this case. Oh, you mean this case? Okay. Yes. Yeah, see, analysis phase, uh, the test lead, yeah, good question, right? So what is happening is, see, BA got some requirements and you will understand the requirements here but he may say that uh, you know uh, the business may business may give a requirement that i need to build a, a a super power computer or super ai right it may be feasible or not feasible right that means the particular software company you need to analyze is it feasible to build this software for the particular business in the current uh, technical world that means uh, if you ask to build a chart GPT in 10 years back it was not feasible right that means the feasibility was worse but now if you are if someone asks you to build chart GPT on top of uh, whatever AI technology that we have it is feasible that's what uh, sorry maybe chart GPT is a new for you AI AI is feasible now whereas it was not feasible 10 years back right that means if uh, if 10 years back some requirement came that I need to build a AI that computer should understand everything and give me uh, You know it should do its all the work of you and give me uh, the output right it is not feasible at that moment and now Now if someone asks you to do the same uh, Hey, I need an AI to which understand my business and give me uh, suggestions like that Yes, now there may be feasibility for that. That means okay. Now it is feasible. I can develop right like that that is the analysis and feasibility got it yes yeah any other questions please that's a good question so the third phase right sorry the fourth phase is in this case coding right so now we got requirements 
that means what is a business and we analyze and we said okay it is it is feasible and it is possible to design or develop your software for your business and and now we designed it and came up with a technical document and which contains modules and submodules, right? This is a design phase. There was no coding involved in this first three phases. Now, what happens is, you know, coding is nothing but uh, modules and submodules, like I said, will be assigned assigned to developers and they will start coding and coding it coding in means writing a logic uh, for the requirements okay when i search for some book that means i need to have a search button i will type it something it should take the input in the ui and it should, when i click on search button it should get me the book which is available in the uh, particular store right that has to be coded right that means there will be a a coding standards that will be followed and coding will be written on top of it code it right so the output is what is the output here output is a build will come build is uh, will come and and an application software application right when I say app will be app will be ready to use after coding what will happen the coding is what uh, how to de uh, the designs already there how to design code the design that was done in phase 3 and how to make an application right that is a coding that we do UI wise or backend logic whatever it is right so that will be coded and the build means Okay, this is the build that you can install in your play in your QA environment and start testing it. it It will start utilizing it and and software will be working state right by while they're giving a coding Done that means it is ready to use Or ready to test I would say not use ready to test. Sorry ready to test right so the coding will be done by software developers and they develop the UI develop the logical layer and they hook up that and give it to you as a build format and now you need to start testing on top of that a any questions on this coding uh, coding part what is next after coding phase the next one is testing phase that means see while they coding right while they coding and designing and planning right you will the testers will come up with the SDLC process. STLC, there is another STLC process. We'll talk about that in the later sessions. What testers will do in this phase is they already have a requirement, right? That is in the first one. They will start preparing the test cases for the requirements. How you know? Uh, what are the different test cases that can be written on top of uh, software? I mean, so requirements. They will come with the you know test cases and that means uh, it could be a 100 200 300 test cases right uh, so based on the test case techniques that we are going to follow we'll talk about test case techniques in the later part basically for now you need to understand like uh, you you come up with a checklist of the testing items that you need to test this particular application right so testers will already prepared with test cases right and now what they will do now once we got build build means the above one okay so build means you know don't worry that i i don't know about build what is this build yeah it is likely how you are installing your software and uh, an application in your mobile right app right likely that so someone already developed and kept it in the app store so that is uh, what the developers will also do for you they will keep the app in some location and say that hey in this location you have an app you can start you can install it or it is already installed in your qa environment start testing it what is it environments right the, you need to understand environments here see um 
whatever you are installing an app in your mobile means it's a production environment it's a production means it's a live before that to test to do a uit to do a development they likely should have a different environments that means they will have that app installed in one of the server and they call that as a development environment and another server they will call that as a qa environment what happens is when they develop a code they will first put into the development environment they will test their, their own once they feel comfortable they will move that piece of codes to qa environment which is another server right server and there they will ask testers to do testing that is what i am saying now we got a build base they install something on the qa environment an environment mess or server and you start executing test cases right start executing test cases because you already have a build you already have a working solution that was given by uh, development team who will do this this is developers and who will do this testing our qa or testers right start executing the test cases and once you start executing the test cases you will definitely you know your your goal is to find the bu bugs never and uh, see in this phase right there is a new application and this development is coding and they are they they feel this application as a baby because they just developed it they are very cautious and you know that's what how we look at our babies as well right we'll look at them very carefully so developers feel this application as a baby uh, a very very smoothly they will test it right but when it comes to test you should tester should look at this app or application as a slave you do rough and off right you do rough and off right to find the bugs so finally your your target is to start you know execute the test cases and first target is ensure that the particular application is uh, good good for the business that is the first you know first thing that we need to do right that means again end to end flow is working that will be covered out as part of test case anyway and finally but you should play with this application like anything and try to break the system break the application and find the bugs that's your target right? find the bugs raise them and retest when when you raise a bugs when they will developer will fix it right and then retest test retest means uh, once you raise a bug it will go to development and they come back with another build hey this is the latest version of the build which will be having all this bug fixes so you need to retest it finally when there is another phase that goes on in the testing which is called stlc we'll talk about that in the later sessions finally what is the output you know you you sign off for the qa in for the qa right otherwise you are giving the sign off that hey i tested everything uh, when you, when you give sign off means you execute all the test cases that is written and you do all kinds of testing that has to be done and finally you don't find any bugs with p1 p2 and p1 p2 is priority 1 priority 0 priority 2 right with which are like critical and blockers if you don't find any bugs and if you found few bugs which are already uh, listed down to the team right and to the, to the product owner business and and the business as well as a known issues then you give sign of hey i have done all the testing these are the open bugs which can be prioritized in the next release but there are no high end critical bugs that's a sign of you will give once you give sign off what it will happen is it will go to the production sorry uit actually uit or and you after uit prod prod means start using it 
that is a start using the application right production means start using the application that means book selling company come to the software company and business when list went to the book selling company and get the gather the requirements a technical team analyze it with visibility and finally uh, you know technical team or entire team designed it and planned it very well to the next project planning finally development team started coding they give a builds for us and then testers ensure that the build is very quality that means whatever has been developed is very uh, is bug free and quality product and then finally it came to uat uat means user will test it once again whether whatever is whatever is expected is correct or not and finally it will be the production that means they will release it to the larger audience and start using that particular application this is the phases right and then finally once it is released in the software industry we need to maintain it maintenance right maintenance must be there otherwise you cannot uh, you cannot say I cannot maintain that right so maintenance must be there any product will be maintainable right in your in our world so that means seventh phase is maintenance any questions so far I will show that in the pictorial way you just let me know any questions that you have in UAT who will test you uh, in UAT for example this is your business assume that this is your business right we went to uh, the software company came to you and said hey i'm done with application and now please put into the production will you do that no right you will do a testing in your phase whether this application what was developed is feasible to my business or not right that means user who is going to use this application will start test it that is called uat uat that user acceptance test the client will do it that means after your testing right uh, you say go ahead but it will be tested by user and say that go ahead then it will go to production that means he also need to give a sign off here got it got it cool uh, any other questions please okay I'm just trying to find a pictorial design. I'm trying to do this. Yes. Yeah. See, this is where the right? planning will be started. As DLC, right? This is a pictorial way, right? Planning will be started and it will be analyzed, analysis, design, right? Like I said, development and testing and development. Why they said a testing and development is two two things will be developed in testing phase as well one is automation another one is bug fixing maintenance and release there could be a release in this is and maintenance and maintenance if you got any other requirement by again planning analysis design development testing maintenance right this is a sdlc life cycle okay first you start with this analyze it design develop test maintenance and if you got any other requirements from uh, again from the client after maintenance you will plan it analyze it design develop test maintenance okay makes sense any questions on this life cycle pictorial way so yeah, i will just keep this side by side unfortunate that i don't have a tool to you know show show with my uh, you know pictorial way but yeah uh, this is what happens the same phase right gathering uh, it was planning and gathering is same and they clubbed all these three in one and then finally uh, analyzing analyzing coding you know analyzing design and then development is nothing but coding testing and maintenance any questions i say if you got confused please ask question right away because this concept is very important guys without this you don't understand a uh, further more concept that i'm going to tell you that's why i took what is retesting uh yeah 
see while you're testing what is your uh, goal is to identify the bugs in your system right when it's a system it's an application right it's it's your goal isn't it so you'll raise a yeah, yes. bugs you'll raise a bugs the bugs is nothing but uh, a, a defective functionality that means there is a requirement you expect some result and it is not giving that result it's a bug for you right so you raise a bug you that means you'll you'll open a, a ticket to your developers that hey this is not expected <laughs> this is not working as expected you fix it right what they will do okay they will cross check with the requirements and they will fix that particular bug again you will get a build uh, with that bug fixes then mm -hmm. what is you already tested it you said it's a bug now you need to retest it because it, it raised as a bug right you are not testing the first of first time you are retesting it that's called retest okay, okay. Yeah. yeah okay thank you yeah thank you <clears throat> Any questions, please? I just want to take this day for uh, SDLC only because it's very important for for the first. You know, you're the first uh, first time that you're hearing this, right? So this is what you are going to work if you are into the job. This is the loop that you are into. You have to understand this loop. See, whatever I just said, yeah, that's great. You listened it and uh, now i want to give a, a task for you all prepare a ppt or any any kind of document that explains in your language about sdlc that means you can watch out any videos anything any tutorials in the online just understand it very well don't copy paste your content from there write in your word what is sdlc right and send that to me in the uh, uh, telegram channel so that I will correct them right so this is very important guys from today onwards you know it's time for you as well to revert back with your assignments prepare an assignment prepare a document on this SDLC and send it back okay it's an assignment for you all okay any questions Okay. Yeah. Uh, here is the full of uh, UAT system testing and etc. Like of testing in STLC. Uh, what was that? Uh, I didn't get your question. Sorry. Please repeat it. Uh, yeah. UAT hmm. system testing, unit testing, etc. Uh, like I said, testing uh, parts in there. So there is the use in SDLC. Where are we uh, doing in uh, SDLC of UAT unit testing, system testing, like mm -hmm. this, etc. Uh, see, the you're asking for types of testing that you're doing, right? Yes. Which will come yes, under the software testing life cycle. <clears throat> I was talking about software testing life in this phase, so right? It is Generally, not, I mean, SDLC? No, no, it will be part of SDLC. SDLC has a sub life cycles like testing life cycle. Today, we just covered SDLC, software development life cycle, but we don't okay. get into details of testing life cycle yet, right? There were how many kinds of testing will be done, where it will be performed, what is the life cycle of testing will come. Now, I've just explain you because you don't understand if i tell everything today stlc is how the software development life cycle will come up and the high level and how the testing will be made how the maintenance will be made and how the software will be kept in the production isn't it now when i okay. go further more classes i will tell about what is testing how you do software testing life cycle and what are the different phases of testing and how do you ensure that the product is getting quality right that is different okay yeah now okay 
I mean, now uh, it is not covered. HDLC and HDLC are different. Are different. Are right? different. No, yeah. HDLC okay. will have sub life cycle called STLC. Okay. They're not different. They're integrated, but uh, SDLC is a high level. We're not going in detail about testing here. When we go in detail about testing, you will get SDLC. STLC. ST means software testing okay. life cycle. Yeah. Where, where, okay. how many testings will be happen? What is the, uh, see, again, that, that is all, see, always life cycle. You don't, example, if I say, hey, hey uh, like, uh, for your constructing a home, what is our life cycle process? Please? What do you say? Hey, I went to design I phase get, where, yeah. yeah, you will not go in detail that, hey, there is a like that, right? So where we go in detail when we talk about that particular type of testing. Okay. okay. So it's a life cycle here. Okay. First, you know, to understand yeah. what is a life cycle that we are going to work on, right? That's what it is. Yeah. Yes. That's a good question, Thank but you. yeah. We we can go in detail of that. that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I see your question, Jairam. Uh, see, that's what, right? Uh, as I said, developers will definitely do testing, which covers 90% of cases already. That means they will see that hey, whether the functionality is working as per expected or not, right? By the they don't test every corner cases or every use case that was discussed in the requirement sometimes. See, uh, that's what, right? Uh, they will treat the uh, application as a baby of them. They don't test it like, like a slave. So you need to test every cases along with whatever been tested by developer. And ensure that you are into the uh, user shoes, right? You always wear client shoes how the business will happen and how ease is ease, ease means how much you know easy to utilize this application that will not be tested by developer he'll just he's a technical guy he'll just sense you that whether i am giving a right output or not that's it they will say that i, I go to their search and give that output they don't feel about look and feel they don't care about how it is user friendly and they don't care about the corner cases so that's a mindset of developers actually they don't test everything they will test whatever they coded and they'll feel that it is working fine or not that's it that's a generally uh, how it be developed but as a testers you're inspectors actually to ensure everything is working and it is usable product if i design something it should be usable it should be user friendly not like complicated one right so you are the person who will test it like that and if you are not able to use it friendly that is a big disaster because you are some notes technical than real user right so if you are not able to use it that's a disaster right so that's where testers are very important here yeah. hope i cleared your question yeah uh testing combination of verification and validation we are we'll talk about this uh, uh tota Rang, Rang and I, right? We'll talk about this. It is not covered in this one. Okay, now it's a time to reveal what is this business. Do anyone know who is a book selling earlier? Um, it's a client. Amazon. Amazon. Client. Amazon. Amazon first came into the online to sell the books. That's a, one of the good example for software development, right? Then they were selling only books at the at the start then they expanded their business to sell every product because they feel this is the e-commerce application can sell any product right so amazon is what started like this okay so they were selling books and then they enabled they expanded their wings to sell any product and then they felt okay we are online we are we are giving cloud here we can also sell cloud infrastructure that is amazon services aws came in so they expanded from book selling to this level today that is a power of software into the business right so if you able to online 
anything you're expanding your wings to entire world that means you're going to get more and more opportunity to expand your business into the next levels that is the power of software okay any questions please okay books helling is a client right hmm okay it was a client and, was a client okay and uh, uh ea is a ba means business analyst analyst okay analyst anal analyst business okay. analyst right so let's see uh, you have a example you have a book selling company okay what do you do okay. you keep a store and you keep the uh, store and and the background you'll publish the books as well right that's your agenda but you don't know how to develop a software right if you yes, come to right. if you come to me i'm a technical person what i do okay your business is this my software is this i will explain you but you may not understand it but who can understand this business is business analyst who can speak to the clients in a business language than technical language and he is a bridge between technical people and the business people okay yeah right yeah thank you thank you uh yeah i will conclude this class today and if you have any questions please reach out to me in uh, telegram as well and ask the questions there okay thank you team have a great day bye bye